Question 11. Rank the instantaneous speeds for each numbered section of this graph from greatest to smallest. Okay, read the question carefully. Instantaneous means at a particular instant in time. That is to say, one moment in time, not a large change in time. We're not averaging a velocity. Second point, this is not a velocity graph. This question is asking you about speed. This means that the sign, the direction, on the velocity is irrelevant. So for instance, a lot of people spotted that this has a negative velocity. That's still the largest speed on the graph because it's got the greatest slope. So let's go in search of some other interesting points on here. Point two and point four would seem to have approximately the same slope at that instant in time. Let's take a straight edge, happen to have a overly cute vampire ruler here, and I'm going to find the slope here of the line at point two. Here we go. And I'm going to attempt to move my overly cute vampire ruler parallel to this line without rotating it over to four. Do you notice? the slope at 4 would appear to be somewhat greater than the slope at 2. Let's try that the other way and see if we're right. Here's the slope at 4. It appears to me like the slope at 4 is somewhat greater than the slope at 2. So I think we all agree the slope at 6 is the biggest, then 4, then 2, then one. These are two linear sections that come together here. Then one. Okay, what's up with three and five? You'll notice in the answer choices, I've already told you they're equal. Remember the instantaneous velocity here would be the slope of that curve at its vertex. The slope of a curve at its vertex like this, this is going to be zero, so there is zero velocity here. Think of that being like the marble shot in the air that has a tiny bit of hang time before it starts to fall back to the earth. 3 and 5, therefore, have the same instantaneous speed.